Let's add a waiver to our registration form. To do this, I'll click on the waivers button at the top of the registration screen, then click the create waiver button. I can either enter the text of the waiver in the text box, or I can upload a file that the registrant can view in order to see the waiver terms, or both. Let's do both so we can see what that looks like. In my first waiver, I'll enter the waiver name, then copy and paste my waiver text. This will be displayed on the screen as the waiver statement the participant is agreeing to. I can add a description, then select whether this needs to be acknowledged for each participant or just once per registration for families registering multiple participants. I can then select between three options for how registrants can acknowledge the waiver. I can have them check a box, type their initials, or enter their name. Both the initials and name acknowledgments must match the account holder information. I'll click Save, then I'll go ahead and create a second waiver with an uploaded document file. This will create a document link that will be displayed for the registrant to click on to view the file, then return to the waiver screen to acknowledge. Now let's add some documents to our form. I'll click Back to Registration, then the Documents button, and Create Document. Here I can either add documents that will be presented during the registration process or request that the registrant upload something. The documents can be required or optional and can be designated as per family or per player. I'll make this visible to both the player and team managers. Once I am done making my selections, I'll click Save. Then I'll add one more document with a file attachment that the registrant needs to print and fill out. Once I am done filling out the document information and uploading the file, I'll click Save. If I need to edit a waiver or document that I have already created, I can click Edit next to the item that needs to be modified. Since I'm done adding all my waivers and documents, I'll click Back to Registration. Now I want to take a look at what the registration form will look like to the registrants with my waivers and documents added by clicking the Preview Form button. I'm going to jump ahead through this first screen so we can see the waivers and documents section. Here I can see how the documents and waivers will appear to the registrant. For this first document, I'll click Choose File to fulfill the document upload requirement, then click Done. I can see that for the second document, there is a file that I can download and a place for me to upload it when I complete it. Next up is my first waiver. I can scroll through to see the full waiver text content, then enter my initials to fulfill the acknowledgement here. Finally, for my last waiver, I can see again that there is a document link to download a file, and I'll click the checkbox to fulfill my acknowledgement on this waiver. When I'm done with that, I click Save and Continue and will be taken to the checkout screen. But since I have confirmed that my waivers and documents look how I want in the preview, I'll go ahead and close out the preview tab and return to my TeamSnap account. Now I'm ready to add customized instructions, finalize my form, and make it active. <laughs>